Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In today's video what we will be going over is how to install software on the Lumbuntu operating system. This is for Lumbuntu 20.04. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. To install any applications or software that you want to on Lumbuntu there are several different ways. One is uh, by using a GUI package manager. Another way is by using a command line interface package manager. For today, we will go over using the GUI package manager. So, to get to the package manager, there are several ways of doing it. Now, I don't know how to actually pronounce the name of this package manager. Uh, but let me show you how to get to it. If you go down to the Lumbuntu uh, start button and you left click on it and then you go up to the menu that says system tools and then you go over to this package manager which says Muon, I'm believing is the correct pronounce pronunciation. I could be wrong. Another way to get to it is if you can't remember where it is, if you go to the start button again, left click on it, you'll see a little search box down at the bottom. You should have one. And then if you type in package or begin to type in package, you'll see package manager for move on. I imagine if you typed in move on, move on oops move on it will show up as well so that's several ways that you can get to the package manager move on and then you just left click on it one time with your left click mouse or with your left mouse button and here is the package manager move on package manager now for today, we are going to go ahead and install a application, which is a, uh, um, we're going to install an application known as Abbey Word. Abbey Word is a um, word processor where you can uh, uh, create, um, you can create word, uh, you can create word documents with it. And it is compatible with Microsoft Word. So. You can either scroll down and see if you can find it manually or you can type it in here. Go Abby Word and it should show up. And there it is right there. I'm going to maximize our screen so that we can see a majority of it. Okay. And as you can see, if you come over here to status, it says not install, requested, not changed. Okay, now, the first thing that you'll probably want to do is check for updates to see if there are any newer updates of Abbey Word. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. Give it a moment, it is checking the repositories for Lumbutu to see if there's any more updates of Abbey Word. Okay, it's done with the updates. And let's see, it didn't find any. Okay, so the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and install Abbey Word, right? So what I do is I highlight it and then you can come down and read the summary. And then we come down here. You'll see over here where it says installation. You left click once on installation. It'll say mark additional changes. This action requires a change to another package, yada, yada. You want to install it? Yes. Yeah. So highlight it and then press OK. OK. And now, the next thing we need to do is we need to come over here, up at the top left-hand corner, 
click on apply changes it's going to ask for your password to install the package you left click on that and then inside you put in your password Once you put in your password, you press the OK button. And as you can see, it is installing every word. Looks like it's done. So we highlight that and let's see. Every word is installed. Let's go ahead and minimize package manager. Let's see if we can find every word. So if we come over here, to the start button left click on start and let's go under office and see if it's under office and there it is Abby word and then you just left click on Abby word and there is your word processor and then of course you can just type in whatever you want to make your uh, make your little word document and then you can go ahead and save it. You can save it to the desktop. Or you can save it wherever you want. Okay. And then you go ahead and save it. My my um my screen is a bit small, so I'm having problems getting to the bottom. But then after you do that, let's see if it'll take it. Let's see here. Other locations? No. Oh, we got to give it a name. That's right. Test dot. And then you want to give it an extension. Uh, let's see. To make it compatible with uh, uh, Microsoft Word, I would give it uh, an extension of DOCX. And then press Enter. Do you want to use this name? Yes. Okay. And then you go ahead and close it. And there is your document. All right. And so that's how you install applications through uh, Muon Package Manager. And now, so let's say you've installed it you've used it you're tired of it you don't want to use it anymore let's also go over how to uninstall a packet or uh, an application in uh, muon package manager so if you want to uninstall it you just you just find your package you highlight it again and then you come down here to the bottom on the right and you can choose either remove or reinstall. Reinstallation would happen if you uh, if you're experiencing problems with your application and it's not working the way it should be, and you want you think you need to reinstall it to fix it. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to remove it. So I left click on remove, I highlight it, and I press enter or I press OK on the keyboard or Enter on the keyboard or left click on OK. All right, and then you come back up to the top. You want to click on Apply Changes. All right, and Abby Word has been removed. If you come over here and highlight it, you'll see status is not installed. OK. And then let's go ahead, just to make sure, we'll go ahead and close Muon Package Manager. And what we will do is we will come down here to the Start Menu, left click on Start Menu. And I call it the Start Menu. Uh, the official developers may call it something else, but I'm going to call it the Start Menu. And we come over here to Office, 
And as we can see, Abby Word is no longer in there. If we come down to the search box and we type in Abby Word, and nothing will come up. So that was just a little video showing you how to install packages and uninstall packages through the GUI. Uh, thank you very much. In our next video, we'll go over installing and uninstalling packages uh, through the command line. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a good day.